Hi everyone. So now we learned about view, text and button in this react native part. And you can ask one question there like why we are not talking about state component props first in this series. Why we are talking about these UI components. Reason being I want to make you familiar with the UI component first. At least with the basic UI components like as I told you view, text and button. And once you are familiar with these things you can easily just get the output over the emulator and you can play with the states and pro with props and with the components. So let's take a look over these three components and then we will go with the state component and the other react and react native concept. Alright. Okay. So firstly we'll understand the code of app.js then I will give you some example of view text and button and at the last we will cover some important react native interview questions also. Alright. So let's move on the code. This is our emulator for output and this is VS code editor to check the output. We will play with the app.tsx. So I'm just hiding this explorer so that we have more space for that. Right. So let's understand this code like what we have written there already. Uh, even we did not return there. This is the already uh, created component when we created our uh, react native application. Right. So firstly react is imported from there and then from react native two two things are imported text and view and if you want to compare these things with the website html then you can say that text is like a span and view is like a div right they are not completely equivalent but uh, for basic uh, level of learning you can say that uh, they are behave like similar right so if you just want to show something in the two different line you want to make a division then you can use div and if you just want to put simple text uh, then you can use the text same as the span all right and button component will be similar to the button element in the uh, uh, html right one more thing in react native we don't say it's element or tag we say that the core component if uh, they are the part of react native right or you can say that the ui component all right all right so after that we are uh, just creating a app function and inside the we are returning something there and we are putting their view and then text like this all right and this is producing this output so let's clear all of these code and write everything from scratch right so saving it and uh, now you can see that there is an error because there is a no code. So I'm importing there import react from react right and after that we can import uh, something from react native. So as I told you we will use the three things text view and button you can import them one by one or you can just uh, import them uh, in a one time right okay after that let's create a constant you can put any name of this but the first letter should be capital as this is the you can say that naming convention for components and after that let's return something so for a moment i am just putting there a text symbol this text and just say that hello react native save it still there is error because we have to export this component also so now let's put there export default app put the semicolon at the last save it and here you can see that we got the text there so this is a bit smaller so i can just add a text for a moment uh, font size so if you are not aware like what is size and what is this style and all don't worry we will make another video for this and there i will explain you everything but for a moment you can understand that we are putting their font size to increase the size of these text all right so we there we have the output all right so if you want to show some simple text that time you can simply use their uh, text uh, ui component right or you can say that the core component and if you just want to show the two text parallelly and if you just say that uh, hello react native and hello let's say anil Sidhu, which is my name and if you just try to save it it will throw a error 
reason being and this this question can be asked in the interviewers go also like if you will just not provide any parent element then why the, it will throw an error whenever we are creating any component in react or in react native return should be a parent uh, element inside the return we have to declare a parent ele element and inside this we can declare many elements so we cannot declare two elements uh, and the both could uh, cannot be parent so if i'm just uh, removing it and putting their view then it will perfectly work fine like this right so with that way we can simply use a view and you can say that this is behave like a div right and uh, after that we can, we can have the these two text like this even we can just create a text inside a text also if i'm just putting there saving it you can see that we are getting it on a single line and you can change the text also so let's, let's say i'm putting there 50 pixel then it will behave like this all right so we can add a view of component inside a return inside this we can declare as many as text we want and inside a text uh, component we can declare another text element also like this so that we can just show the uh, different font size to it or different style to it you can say that right okay so the next thing is uh, how we can declare a button this is also very simple just get put there a button like this and close it you can close the button with the self closing tag but you can just need to provide a one property there which is title and let's put there press me and you will get the output over the screen here you can see that right so uh, there are some limitations with the buttons you cannot put their margin padding and lots of things with it right but don't worry with the similar to the button component we have the other components also like touchable ui and touchable opacity also in upcoming parts we will talk about them they are more flexible with the style right but let's say you want to change the color of it then you can simply put there red or something and here we got right all right so uh that's all for this part we got some basic idea about how we can declare the text and all so even inside a view we can again declare a view also if you just want to see this is not mandatory like we have to show only one uh, view you can use as many as you you want and inside this again you can just declare any text let me just put their text also second view and text save it and here we got the output all right so that's all for this part and in next part we'll talk about some react concept because react native corely using uh, react as an internal library so we will learn about components states and props and other things also so thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video and share your feedback in comment section this is my donation number for Patreon. thank you guys thank you so much